It's very sad that uh, we have teenage pregnancies in our country today, right? so many years after, after independence. And um, it's really sad too that uh, those that uh, we are supposed to protect, we don't protect. And we allow them right, to be uh, exposed to elements that uh, are there too early right, to, to, get, to get involved in or to, to be exposed to. And so, right? and uh, today we've also had, yesterday we had an incident uh, in, in Wajir where a teacher has been arrested, right? So it's something that's happening right across the country. Um, other, you know, uh, agencies have carried out, uh, and you probably heard that in the news, They've, uh, they have reported on this. Uh, we have agreed that we'll all work together. I've put a team uh, at the ministry together to start the, the exercise, and along the way we'll bring everybody in. Uh, we are working on a, on a policy as government on teenage pregnancies, pregnancies in schools, and we'll roll it out at an appropriate time. But I think it's really sad, and I was just urging everybody uh, when I spoke last and appealing that we really protect these children, right? If we this today, it just means that our country is not going to be in safe hands going forward. Um, we are also telling these children yeah, that uh, we're irresponsible as adults, uh, because in most cases it's adults. You know that are doing this for the children, so we're being very, very responsible. Rape is rape in any language, right? Defilement is defilement in any language. It's a crime, and I think the law will take its course. Yeah, whenever a culprit is found, the law will take its course. I also said that we are going to follow up and see whether we can actually identify who carried out, you know, uh, you know, this uh, criminal act, and deal with them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so it's something. I think it's a conversation that we must have as a country. As you know, um, we are all out, yeah, the whole government is literally out. All my colleagues, CSS, CSS, PSS, uh, out in the, in the country just trying to make sure that uh, we're all doing the right thing, but also support our children and, and the teachers. And uh, so we don't expect any, any issues, any hitches. I think we are all, we're all, we've all been preparing for it. We're all trained to do this. Um, you know, the packages are very well, uh, they're very well titled, right? And so uh, I don't expect to, to have any, any issues today. It's rolled off across the country. We have sunk our teeth in. It's not going to go away. We will deal with it. I have personally cut uh, the security seals of the packaging of the exams. And I'm very confident that uh, up to this point, the integrity of these exams cannot be questioned. So if anything happens, then it would be individual culpability. Those who have been given the responsibility to handle this examination material, to administer this exam, and to make sure that our children are doing these, uh, these exams in a, in a conducive environment. So I, and, 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 and I want to urge those that have been given the responsibility to supervise these exams, maintain the integrity that we have witnessed this morning. I want to wish all the KCSC candidates well, and I want to especially tell the girls, you have so many role models, starting with your own minister. If you're looking for a role model, 